I'm ready. Say hi to grandma. Goldie, say hi to grandma. I'm ready. Hi, my name is Trina, and today I want to show you how I add extensions into my hair. I put a ponytail on this side, and for all of you that don't know about this side, um, it's like a patch in here. So I put a ponytail on this side and fixed it so it'll be all right. These are extensions and this is how I add my extensions. So <clears throat> I don't want to use just the um, regular synthetic hair. I want to use this weave. Well, it's not a weave, it's a wig. So I purchased this wig. <clears throat> And what I do is cut the hair here. And then once you cut the hair, it's going to be blunt on the end like this. So you don't want it to be blunt because when you braid down, it's going to stick up. So you take the hair and you stretch it like that. And that takes the bluntness out. See how it comes down to a point. So it's, it's not real thick and bulky at the end. So I already have this parted off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece right here. And I'm going to add this extension. So you take, you'll have two pieces like this and you cross it over like a tie and then you'll have one piece two three and then you put it flat on your scalp and braid down pick up the hair and braid down Pick up the hair and braid down. Just keep picking up the hair and braiding down. Now for this, you have to braid it down. Well, I have to braid it down past the length of my hair. Because I do not have a perm, so that means that my hair will stick up. If you have a nice perm, you can braid it down wherever you want and then tie it. Now, this hair that you cut from a wig is really too short to tie sometimes. I can tie this. Just take it go around and loop it but really and truthfully I don't like tying it when it's really short so the secret to locking it is to take a piece from this one and add it to this one and that'll lock it so it won't flip and then there you have it That's how you braid in a human hair. Well, this is synthetic. That's how you braid in a human hair or a synthetic tie. I can show you one more. I have this already parted off. I'm just going to take like a half an inch diameter all the way around or parameter all the way around. Take the amount of hair that I want. It's blood on the end. Like meaning straight off. 
So I don't want that. So I want to stretch it. And now the ends are nice and thin. Now I'm going to put it in two pieces. Cross it over. Then you're going to have one, two, three. You hold it like this. And you just pick up the hair that's underneath it. Pick it up. Keep your fingers flat to the scalp. And then you just braid down. It's a long process, but it lasts for about two and a half, three months. It just depends on how fast your hair grow out. My hair don't really grow out really fast, so this will last me like until the end of March. And then you just braid it down. I'll show you the rest of my progress once I finish this side. And then I'm going to show you like five or six styles that you can get out of your human hair tie. My name is Trina. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And thanks so much. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Hi. My name is Trina. And I would like to show you my finished product on my hair. And this is one style that I like to put it in. It's just a plain old ponytail on the side. And then if you don't want to wear it into a ponytail, take it out. Then you can wear it just straight down if you want. You like, you just wear it straight down. And if you don't like that, or you change your mind, you want to go out or something like that, then you can put it in a French roll. You just bring all this over to the side like that. And you take this. And you fold it over. Fold it over. And then you just pin it down. And if you put enough pins in there, it'll hold. And then you put some more pins in it. Put some pins in and up under here. And then you'll have your French roll. And then if you don't want to wear it into a French roll, you can always just wear it into a plain ponytail. Just put a rubber band on it and wear it into a plain ponytail. Or if you don't want to do it like that, you could take it and Part it and put two braids in it. Coming down each side. And you have to put the rubber band on the tip. Because if you don't put the rubber band on the tip, it's going to come a little and that's why I like to stretch my hair. So when it gets down to the tip, it won't be big and bulky. It'll be nice and more natural looking. And then you just braid this side. Just to 
depends on what where you're going, what style you might want to wear. And then you just have it like this with two braids. And then if you don't want it like that, you can take the two braids and you can put them together. And then you can pin them down. If you don't want it in your face or getting into everything, you can just pin it down like that. And then if you don't like that style or you want to just change up or style, you can take this style. Unbraid it. Bring it all over to one side. And braid it over here. On just one side. This is synthetic. That's why it's a little hard and a little rough. Some people rather have human hair. But it's the same method. Synthetic or human. You braid it in the same exact way. And then you just put a rubber band on the end right here. Or you can put um, like a hair barrette or something right here. And you can make so many styles with this. One more style. You can take it. And leave the back down. And take this part and put it into a French row where the back is down. And then you put this into a French row. Pin it down. And there you have your French roll. And then you have some hanging down too. My name is Trina. I appreciate you guys watching my channel. And subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much.